All right. We're going to do a quick little review about this chestnut peel that I got on Amazon for about $10.99 US dollars. It's made with all 304 stainless steel, cross open design, made in China. I love chestnuts and eat them on a regular basis. Usually I use a knife, like a steak knife, a nice solid knife that doesn't bend easily. And I'll use the, the tip to slice open and make an X. But I got sick of that and wanted to see what else the internet had came across this. So here we go, we're gonna test it out. So this is what it looks like. It is all stainless steel. You open it up, put the chestnut here, blades here. Not super sharp, but feels like a saw. It'll work. It also comes with this piece, which is a short back scratcher. I'm just kidding, it's to clean the teeth. Scrape the teeth out if they ever get dirty, which perhaps they might they may someday. Alright. So basically put the chest out right here and you give it a squeeze. Not too hard. And there we have it. A perfect X. Let's do a few more. Perfect. Loving it. This works great. Works like a charm. I purchased these chestnuts from the Chestnut Farm in Oregon. I am from Boston, Massachusetts. I love chestnuts because we lost all our chestnut trees here. They go out of season very quickly. So, I am looking to the chestnut farms. If they store them properly and have them for sale all winter, I will purchase them. So far, these were a decent purchase. I got about five pounds for 50 bucks. They came in three days. And I would say, 20% of them are moldy and inedible, but 80% are pretty good. This one, usually you can tell. This one's squishy. Well, it doesn't look... I don't see any mold yet. We'll try it. This is definitely a lot faster than using a knife. I mean, look at those beautiful cuts. Perfect. Perfect cuts. That's all you need. I mean, I'm preparing chestnuts. I'm loving it. So we can fly through these really quickly now. As before, with the knife, it was much more time consuming and much more dangerous. Look at this. Look at the cut. Beautiful cut, can you see it? I know it's hard to see in the camera, but it cuts them well. Creates that X pattern. We all, that us chestnut lovers know and love. And yeah, I'd say absolutely worth it. How long it'll last, I have no idea. It's not too flimsy, it's pretty solid. I will say, but, you know, it is stainless steel, and this is the point that's going to break first, the hinge, so we'll see how long that lasts. I eat a lot of chestnuts, so this is perfect test out. Yeah, a lot of these chestnuts, uh, they are a 
little moldy. That's why we had to cook a lot of them. If you want to eat a lot of them, you got to plan on throwing out at least 20% of this batch. But yeah, I mean, we're loving it. We are loving it. Look at the beautiful cut. Come on, focus. There we go. It's perfect. It really is. Man, you can fly through these. All right, we're almost done. I will check back in. Once they're roasted, we get the oven on 400. We're going to do 19 minutes. Perfect. All right. And that's all she wrote. Not too dirty. Let me give her a quick rinse. We're good to go. All right, here they are. Nice and roasted. Let's have a close look how they came out. I think it works pretty well, honestly. I'd much rather use this wonderful chestnut cracker than the knives. But we did get a knife. A nice special chestnut knife on Amazon. It was the only one I found. We're going to try it, but for now, we're liking it. This has been a review of the Chestnut Cracker from Amazon.